Y'all, we stepping back in time today. This is one of those perfect meals that you can cook at the drop of a hat because there's a very good chance that you're gonna have this in your pantry. And uh, to me, it's very retro. We were just talking. They said, yeah, welcome to the 70s. Eddie and Teresa said that. I said, oh no, <laughs> the 60s and the 50s because I remember my grandmother Paul cooking these and mama served this a lot because it's a good, nutritious meal and it doesn't break the bank. Now this is a can of salmon and it said to drain well. So I treat it just like I do tuna fish. You know, I, I'll squeeze my tuna fish to get all the juice out of it so it won't be watery. Mmm, this smells very good. And you know what? There is nothing, nothing any better than a salmon croquette along with a bowl of hot grits for breakfast. You know, God knows, and I got to call our sweet Nita. Nita Jones. AKA. AKA Jelly Roll. <laughs> was with us for how many years, Teresa? Over well, 20. I'm on 18 and she's got to be like, she had to have been 21 or 22. Oh yeah, yeah, a long time with us and I love her and she loves me and uh, we keep in contact, but I need to call her because I hadn't, I haven't spoken with her since the uh, quarantine. So I've got to do that. Eddie, remind me to, uh, try to find Nita today and make sure she's all right and doesn't need anything. But I tell you what, that woman made the best uh, croquettes you have ever put in your mouth. And you know, I don't know, she would make it at breakfast time. Mm -hmm. When we were cooking lunch, she cooked those salmon croquettes. And uh, they were ever more good. I'm gonna ask her today, when I talk to her, how she get so good. <laughs> But I will tell you this about Nita. <laughs> Cause she and I went round and round when she first joined the team. She said, I gotta have some accent. <laughs> I said, the only accent girl you gonna get is what's coming out of your mouth. <laughs> I said, honey, that, that, uh, that, that particular seasoning is not real good for us. And a lot of people actually have allergies. I know Cookie would get so sick mm -hmm. if she accidentally ate something. That, because of the MSG. Yes, because of the MSG. And oh, it made Nita so mad <laughs> with me. But I said, honey, I can't help it. I got to watch out for everybody. All right, now we've got, how much breadcrumbs did we put in here? A half a cup. A half a cup. Okay. Well, you half that half. And uh, because we're saving some, you know what? Now see, I am not opposed to the bones, the little bones that are in salmon croquettes. I'm just not opposed to them at all because they're so soft. And, huh, you gonna what? I'm going to check on something out here. Okay, she's going to see a man about a dog, I bet. <laughs> you think, Eddie? <laughs> I wonder if anybody knows what that means. <laughs> going to check a man about a dog. All right, so I'm going to put a little more. All right. So hopefully that one egg, you know, will cause it to bind together real good. I'm going to wash my hands. All right, so actually, I'm going to, the recipe calls for uh, regular, like Italian breadcrumbs, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, because I love the crunchiness, I'm gonna try the pinko on it. Okay, and I need, I need just a little something, something to sit this on. I, 
I don't know where the blade went on this thing. I thought it was me. <laughs> uh -huh. I had the same problem earlier. I thought it was me. I know. What? 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 What's up? Where'd that blade go? I don't know. Or was there ever a blade on it? I don't it? think so. All right. So here we go. I hope I didn't squeeze too much juice out of them. <laughs> I could have. Now you can make them any size you want to. I kind of like them a little small. That way you feel like you're getting a lot because you can have two. <laughs> right? <laughs> Ooh, and I am going to love the crunch. You know what? Before I did that, I meant to spray them because this is one of those foods that you definitely need to spray. Uh, a lot of foods you don't need to, but these we do. Okay, pretty, pretty. What y'all think? I'm gonna add those breadcrumbs to that. What you think, Max? <laughs> Look at Max. He thinks it sounds very good. Psh, psh. <laughs> Y'all, these are very elementary. You can... Oh, darn it. I forgot to spray it again. Uh, you can take these so many different ways if you want to, if you got a mind to. I think I'd put more onions in them. But, you know, I, my mother, well, and of course, Nita too. Uh, Nita may have put hers in the deep fryer there at the restaurant. But mama always just fried hers, you know, in a skillet. How about your mama? Fried them in a skillet. Reason? All right, Eddie, did your mama make these? No, I don't I don't really remember having. He didn't, need a, he didn't need a budget meal, Paula. <laughs> I'm kidding. Teresa said Eddie was rich. No. He no. didn't need a budget and meal. And I have no idea why I said that, but I just, if you haven't had Sam and Joe Cat, that's what makes me think. He's told me that he grew up in a tremendously big house. I was going to say, you have a lot of siblings, don't you? He's one of nine. Oh yeah, your mama must have made salmon croquettes and you just don't remember. No, I, I don't remember having <laughs> What yeah, did y'all eat? Well, if you had to feed nine and you had to buy, like, what would that be? Almost five or six cans of salmon. Yeah. It, it isn't as cheap anymore. Did my, your mother my, ever fry chicken? No, you know, it's funny. The first what time, the eat? first time I ever had fried chicken, <laughs> I think I was a senior in high school. I finally had KFC once. No. Uh, but really, fried chicken wasn't until I moved down here. Well, what did your parents feed you? Your mother feed you? We had, you know, it's funny. My father really wasn't a casserole person, so we never had casseroles. <laughs> um, we were. Uh, I mean, is it steak and potatoes? We were a steak and potato family, yes. And they had a lot of lamb, too, I think. Yeah, we I heard Eddie talk yes, about lamb. We That's love lamb. Rich. That's called rich, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time I begged my mama to buy some lamb chops. Ooh, that was a big day in our house. And they were so awful. She had to put them in the trash. She was so mad with me. She said, do you know how much those cost me? <laughs> now, my mom but, liked lamb chops, and we made those. That was a special occasion. Uh-uh. Mm -mm, mm -mm, never. All right, so what else besides uh, <laughs> Mr. Rich Breaches? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You, my, <laughs> you, you would have my parents just dying laughing right now. <laughs> filet mignon. Did y'all eat a lot of filet mignon? Oh, I'll tell you what they ate a lot of. Lobster. <laughs> oh, that's true, because that's where you live. <laughs> and we're just having fun with you. Uh -huh, I'm I'll... sure your mom made spaghetti. Yes, yes, spaghetti. You know, it's Doesn't funny. sound like she made it much. Um, I'm trying to help them out here. We, <laughs> that, that was usually... Uh, when my parents went out to dinner, we would have <laughs> no. They made they made the goulash, but yeah. we called it American chop suey, and that American that was, chop suey. Yeah, that's a New England thing, I think. 
All right, <laughs> so Eddie came from New Hampshire, y'all. I can't ever remember the name. Madison? Manchester. Manchester. I knew it started with an M. Manchester, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. And I never met his dad, but he's got a wonderful mama. I've met some of his brothers and sisters. I think I've met two sisters, maybe, and a brother. Yes. yes. Um, and a nice family. But there was a lot of them. They were like the Brady Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Eddie's father's first wife passed away. She was she was sick and she passed away and uh, his mother had been in the same position. So they just said, well, let's just mix it all in the one bowl. Oh, like a Brady Bunch. That's what I just said. I thought that's what I just said. Well, did you <laughs> might have. <laughs> well, but, actually, my dad, my dad, I, I Your mother my, my, had my, never my, been married. No, no, no. Yeah. That's right. We, we all I have the forgot. same father. <laughs> I forgot. Your mother had never been married. She met your dad, who already had four children. Wow. Five. Five children. Five children. Okay. And, and then together, they had four. Right? Mm hmm That's an impressive lady. I know. That takes in She's, five children under her wing. And yes. Makes, and makes them her own. Yes. And Eddie considers them just like... I did Bubba, you know, full brother. I just love how we've taken down a, a trip down memory lane along with our salmon croquettes. <laughs> that I never had. And, and, <laughs> and, and he's yeah, that he never had. <laughs> that he never had. Oh, I was so happy, y'all, when they start identifying who they are. It's great, so you know not to pick it up. So you just ring away. Okay, let's take a little break. Okay, we're gonna take a little break? While I load, all right, we're gonna cook these for 10 minutes, y'all. And, no, five minutes, and then I'm gonna turn them and cook them for five more. Okay, everybody, they've cooked for five minutes. Now, I'm gonna spray them, and then I'm gonna flip them over, and they really look very tasty and not gonna be laden in grease. So, like I said, if you want some things to brown, you really do need to spray them, but it's not often that I feel the need to use that spray. Five more minutes. And come on over here, and while that five minutes, while we got five minutes, y'all, I'm gonna just make a quick um, lemon dill sauce. Now, I don't remember, I don't remember my mother actually making a sauce. I know some folks might, um, catch them from theirs, but I'm just, like I said, I'm gonna make just a very, 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 very small amount. So, I'm gonna add a little lemon pepper and a little dill. I wish I had some fresh dill, but I do not. We've got to get some for the, our little things out there, Eddie. See what kind of luck we can have. Okay, now I'm going to just give it a squirt of lemon. y'all so that I don't get any seeds. Alright, I'm going to give it a taste and see what we got. I think it's very good. 
good. You know, um, dried herbs are not as strong. It sounds crazy, but dried herbs, all right, dried herbs are strong. Yo, hush! Oh, hush. To the leaf. Oh. Um, fresh herb. Dried herbs are stronger than fresh herbs, y'all. So if we were using fresh, we would have to use more, almost double what it called for if we were using dried. So that's what we're going to do. That deal makes it real pretty. Okay, has it been five minutes, Eddie? Does it look like it's fixing the bean? Let's look. Ooh, 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 look how good those look. I'm actually gonna spray them again. Get back up there, and I'm using a canola spray, y'all, which I think that's as healthy as anything, don't you? Does anybody, do y'all know canola oil? Isn't that one of the healthiest? That and peanut oil, believe it or not, peanut oil is right up there with health. The extra virgin, the extra virgin oil. Olive oil, yeah, yeah. I don't care for extra virgin olive oil. To me, it's way too strong. I use the light. Okay, what do you think? Has it been five minutes yet? It's, it's, I um, say they're done. Yeah, we've been filming. I say they're done too. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Mm -mm. Yummy, yum. And I like odd numbers. So I'm just gonna do the three and uh, that just looks very, very good. And what did that cost us? Maybe a couple of bucks. Teresa, do you know how much that cost? Oh. The, the salmon? Maybe $2 for a can? Yeah, so it's a very, very, economical meal and one that is is got a lot of health benefits mm -hmm. for your family too so i'm gonna i'm gonna bite into it and see if they're as good as nita's which i know they won't be <laughs> nobody could make a salmon croquette like nita <laughs> but here's to you nita i'm trying <laughs> that thing's hot as a firecracker I see it just steaming. Now I do like the crunch uh, that we gave it with the panko. Ooh, I hear it. With the panko, yeah. Hear that? Okay, I'm gonna try. Panko wasn't existing in the stores mm -mm. back in that day. Mm -mm. I think it's delicious. Is it as good as Nita's? Well, no. <laughs> she probably puts more onion and yeah. put some garlic in hers. Yeah, but this is its still really, really good. Come taste it. You know what I would think I would almost put in it? What? To make it a little moist, more moist. 
I think I would uh, put some mayonnaise in it. Mm, I thought we put mayonnaise in everything. I know. Take that one bite. You can't. And get it's you hot. some lemon sauce. Get you some sauce, girl. I'm not double dipping. Mm -hmm. No offense to Nita, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love her. Oh. Yum. I would I just remember. like to see them a little bit more moist. And to get that, I would um, spoon in a third of a cup of mayonnaise when I was mixing them. That's if you're a very watching good, them, healthy version. This is a very good, healthy version. Bon appetit, y'all. <laughs>